Now at 10, the Milwaukee Archdiocese wants to shut down a popular fundraiser for a local Catholic school. Good evening, I'm Katie Crowther. This is likely the last year for the haunted house in Hubertus. Michelle Fiore explains why. Her story is new at 10. This constant flow brings in about $70,000 a year to the school. The thought of losing that is a much bigger fear for parents than the haunts inside. <laughs> for 31 years, St. Gabriel's Catholic School has used this old farmhouse on church property to bring Halloween fun to families. You have to find your way out without getting what? scared. Do I <laughs> But after this season, the Hubertus House of Horror will disappear. I'm sad, you know. It's, um, I've only been involved with it for five years, but there's people here that I've been involved with it 10, 15 years, and um, you do get attached. A parish statement says, quote, the archdiocese raised concerns about the haunted house's depiction of circumstances or situations that did not seem to align with the joy of the gospel. Parents fear tuition at St. Gabriel's will go up without this major fundraiser. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, private parochial schools are expensive. They're already brainstorming what to do next. How many uh, spaghetti dinners do we have to put on? Uh, how many car washes? But Linda Dupay says other fundraisers will take time to get established. People already know this haunted house. We get busloads from Chicago, all the different surrounding counties that people come. Devil, bubble, toil and trouble. I pray that for God to soften Archbishop Listecki's heart. In addition to praying for a change of heart, volunteers out here are also hoping that Archbishop Listecki will come out here and experience this for himself. In Hubertus, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. The last day to check out the Hubertus House of Horror is November 1st.